Oh my gosh, I am so ready for this and I hope y'all are too. First time ever on this channel, I am giving you an all-inclusive video. It's going to include this amazing facial mask that's not only going to leave your skin tighter, but radiant and younger looking as well as other goodies inside of here. So stick and stay for that. But right now, this portion of today's video is brought to you by Spine Align. Baby, I slept on these amazing sheets last night and I gotta tell you this brushed microfiber sheet set by Spinaline is everything. I have the color of blue mist. The bed is a queen size and these fit amazingly. They feel amazing. These are brushed microfiber sheets that offer high quality comfort, y'all, that you deserve. Yes, yes, and you're going to love them just like I did. Normally, I sleep on a silk or satin pillowcase, but guess what? I got all of that and then some when it came to the sheets for my hair and for my skin. Not only are these sheets lightweight, they help to keep me cool. And y'all know, at 58, baby, girl, you need something that has the ability to have that moisture wicking situation going on. And as an extra bonus, since these sheets are polyester, they do resist wrinkles better than regular cotton sheets but they feel so good and they are machine washable i did get them in and when i did i unboxed them and baby they feel good they feel good and i knew they would but when i got a good night's rest with them that was all she wrote check these out on the spinal line website y'all i'm so um just happy to be part of the Spinal Line family because not only do they provide great sheets, but they have super pillows that I love, the super mattress that I love, and everything that you would want when it comes to relaxation in your bed. You want the best and they have the best, but they have it affordably. So check out the website. And if there's a discount, you'll see it across the screen as well as in the description box, but you'll also find it on the first comment of this video. Let's get on to today's video because it is action packed and I can hardly wait. Tell me your thoughts on today's video. Okay, I have a few more things that I use for my natural treatments that I wanted to go ahead and put in storage containers. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So I picked this airtight food storage containers off of Amazon and I've used them before when I originally did my storage of my products that I use for my natural treatments and I still have some left from the other box but um, I just needed some smaller sizes as well so we're going to get busy. It comes with the labels and a pen. Got those all done. Now all I gotta do is put them in place. I actually have some more of the um, cloth cubes coming. So I'll sort through all of that. Some of this stuff is paperwork or books and manuals. Some is like cold medicines and stuff. And some is nails. I'll sort through it all here in the next couple of days once my organizers come in. And now I'm just going to organize my 
products here. All right, so I can I can continue from where I left off on yesterday. I actually got my cube baskets. These have the handle on them, and I'm going to go ahead and insert them into my little storage bin racks here. And wow, they're packaged pretty tight. I need scissors. This pack comes with six in here, so let one of them out here. Looks like that. And you just take this little insert and turn it down and go up like so. Makes it pretty sturdy. So I could just put it one here and I need one of it there as well. So like so. Make that look neat again. I'm just letting my actual have some vinegars to be instituted. And that's that so got that looking much better I start to go ahead and change them all out to make them all the same but I'm not gonna waste stuff like that I'll probably use these in either my bedroom or somewhere where I need to store other things at so that's it now it's time to pamper myself yes indeed I have kind of neglected my skincare over the last few days so let's get started now yes these little wristbands are great for washing your face with it allows the water to stay away from running down your arm I'm using my face shop rice water bright foaming cleanser and my Duval radiant spin care brush you'll find the links in the description box so make sure you take a look down there and don't don't ever pass up my description box. Let's get started with getting this face washed off, cleansed thoroughly. That's why I'm using my brush today. That's the way you get in there and get all that grime out. And there you go. Let's get her. So now I'm really taking care of me. Yes, I'm shaving off all of the little peach fuzz because your girl is going to do her IPL hair removal. Actually, it's been several weeks since I did that. So I'm going to do it, but I'll do that up front. Right now, I do need to put on my eye patches so I can actually depuff these eyes. Yeah, these eye masks are everything. Let me tell you, they are great for puffy eyes, but not only that, you got dark circles. These are the ones, girl, you know I got you covered. I will put them in my description box. The link is there right on Amazon. Help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines under the eyes so your eyes will look refreshed for sure. And now we are ready to get started with our IPL hair removal treatment. Yes, I'm still using my Jobs Venus Pro 2 hair remover device. And baby, I've been loving it. So let me carry on. But for 2023, guess what? Your girl not only does her face, but I told y'all I was eventually going to do my legs and armpits. I have converted to doing my legs. It has not fully kicked in yet, so I still do some shaving there, but I have started. So I'll show you that 
here in just a moment. Stay tuned for that. And honey, when I get to these armpits, I'm going to be overjoyed not to have to shave again. So, so here we go. I do believe I've had these eye patches or eye mask treatments on long enough. Time to take those off and get started with maybe my skincare because, girl, I know you think I've done enough, but I really haven't. I usually spend so much more time on my skin and I really have been neglecting her. I've got to do better. I've got to. Hmm, I was just thinking about what I was going to do, and I decided since I need to tighten up, girl, your girl is getting older, and I still have puffiness under the eyes, aloe vera gel. And I have one in the refrigerator that I've been meaning to use forever. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, y'all gonna see in just a minute. My aloe vera was sitting here and it's so cold in Memphis right now. It's below freezing and my aloe vera gel has actually gotten a little bit frozen. So I need skin tightening and aloe vera has natural skin tightening properties. So this would be perfect. So I'm going to actually apply this on my skin after I cut it up. I didn't rinse it off at first. I rinsed it and now I'm just going to cut it up and put it in a jar. So we love aloe vera. It has antioxidant properties that help to prevent damage caused by free radicals. We're going to use it not only that, aloe vera gel is good for so many things. Because of its antioxidant properties, it helps to repair your skin and encourage skin rejuvenation. It can even alleviate hyperpigmentation like fade dark skin patches and restore your skin's original color. Amazing amazing natural from the good green earth remedy for sure yes aloe vera gel is amazing at the dna level it fights to prevent collagen breakdown if you apply it topically it's going to help repair skin damage and rebuild collagen using it daily you can actually help to significantly improve your skin elasticity and remove wrinkles but of course we're human, but of course we have lives and we can't follow through every single day. But to make the best of it when you can, that is perfect because aloe vera has just, just tons of skin benefits. It even functions as an effective natural remedy for pimples and acne and reducing excessive oiliness on the skin. Did you know that aloe vera gel actually contains malic acid? Now that's what helps to improve the skin's elasticity and to help to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines. It also contains zinc and that is what's going to help to increase the youthfulness of your skin and shrink pores. Man, aloe vera is, is something special. Did you not know? I know. Yes, indeed. That's the reason why I am rubbing the aloe vera leaf across my face. Yes, the gel is amazing. Just massaging it on for a few minutes in circular motion. And then I am going to leave it on for 20 minutes. I'm not going to immediately wash it off because... I have an amazing face mask that I'm going to prepare 
after this. So I'm going to let it sit. And yes, it is typical or normal for aloe vera gel to have a little itchy feeling to it. Only if you start breaking out do you need to have some concerns, but it will itch just a little bit. And now we're going to mix up this amazing facial mask that I mentioned early on that's going to exfoliate, hydrate your skin as well and leave your skin radiant, tighter, younger looking something you're going to say wow over. We're starting with the first ingredient, which is bentonite clay. I'm taking one tablespoon of the bentonite clay. Let me tell you about bentonite clay. It's amazing for helping to reduce the look of blemishes and dark spots, as well as lifting dead skin cells and revealing new healthy skin underneath. Bentonite clay is also known for reducing wrinkles and fine lines as it rebuilds damaged skin cells and helps in the production of collagen because as we age, our body produces less collagen. Bentonite clay also helps to restore your skin's natural moisture levels and leave your skin feeling softer than ever before. This clay helps to remove toxins from your pores and allows your skin to heal and reduce inflammation. It also, again, helps in lightening acne marks on the face and skin and also, again, to reduce inflammation and redness. The next ingredient I added to this mask is kaolin clay powder. I used one tablespoon of the kaolin clay powder. If you don't know about it, this one is a super gentle exfoliator and it will help in absorbing excess oils and removing poor impurities. Kale and clay also is a soft white clay that will help to actually absorb toxins. It's perfect for cleansing and exfoliating dead skin cells and debris from the surface of the skin. So as you saw, I mixed the two dry ingredients and next we're going to go to the aloe vera gel, which I've already explained here in this video all about aloe vera gel, how amazing it is for the skin, and how wonderful your skin will look and feel over time in using it. I thought it'll be a great, great, great addition to this particular mask. And I added like three to four teaspoons of the aloe vera gel to the mixture. And then I'm adding one teaspoon of Manuka honey. Oh yeah, y'all know Manuka honey is not cheap, but because the fact that it covers so much and has so many skin benefits, I'm going to do this because it has anti-aging benefits, moisturizing properties. It's going to help the skin to retain moisture without making it oily. It is the first step in wrinkle-free skin. Not only that, it helps destroy the enzymes that causes collagen reduction. Manuka honey helps in repairing the skin by promoting skin regeneration and repair cellular damage and lessening also of scars. It helps to hydrate the skin. When you apply Manuka honey to your skin, it will hold in moisture and absorb moisture from the air for a dewy, glowy complexion. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which reduces redness and heals congested and heals congested or inflamed skin and even eczema. Yes, Manuka honey oxygenates pores to draw out bacteria, drastically improving acne prone areas. So beneficial. Oh my goodness. Just a dollop will do it. So I just added in a teaspoon of it. 
into this mix. And the final ingredient, yes, is papaya oil. Listen, this has been our hero for the last few videos, pretty much. I'm telling you because papaya oil is something that you definitely can benefit from. It contains vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-6, and omega-9, carotene, oleic acid, and linoleic acid, and even papain. It is what you can use to nourish your skin, improve elasticity, combat fine lines and wrinkles, reduce large pores and dark spots, make your skin smooth and the skin tone amazing. It will definitely help to moisturize and brighten your skin. It has anti-inflammatory agents in it that's going to help relieve itchy, dry, and flaky skin. And it helps to reduce that pigmentation to make your skin beautiful, smoother, even tone, and glowing. Y'all, what can I say? You're mixing up amazement here, and I love this one time and time again. This face mask treatment here, you can use it once a week. It's all you'll need, and you can store it just Hold tight on the countertop or either in the fridge and use it up once a week. Yes, you can make enough to use it once a week. It'll keep for a good two weeks in the fridge or on your counter for a week. You will love it so, so very much. I love it truly. This is the face mask to exfoliate your skin, hydrate it, and bring back that radiant look, help your skin to look younger, tighter, and more alive than ever. Okay, I did rinse the aloe vera off of my face, so I have clean skin, and now I am applying this facial pack. This facial pack is beautiful, luxuriously thick, and a rich exfoliating mask. I'm applying it, but I'm also massaging it in in circular motions. Yes, apply it all over your face, your neck, your chest, and when you apply it, honey, you're going to feel how amazing, creamy, and luxurious it really is. This one is definitely a keeper, one that I go back to time and time again. Y'all know I do tons of facial masks, so this one is one of my tops. So make sure you put it on your list, jot down all of the ingredients, and, you know, keep this video on lock and come back to it as often as you need to. Now while I'm massaging it in, I'm going to go ahead and store my leftovers because I'm going to do it again in another four, five, six days. And then, oh honey, the results will just continue to last on and on. Y'all can see I am massaging this in good because it's loaded. It's loaded with some goodness and I want to get every piece of it into my skin. So I know this video was super long and I'm excited about it, but while my facial mask dries, I'm going to go ahead and repair a fingernail. So I put the nail on and I'm going to let that sit and then I'm going to trim it down and put it in order. So there you go. I'm finished with that. This is where I keep my just daily repair kit for my nails because I am wearing press-ons. And honey, okay, I did mess up my eyeglasses. So I'm going to wash my face, wash off my glasses, and baby, look at sweet angel skin. Looking good, baby. Oh, yeah. Now y'all know what to do, okay? Try out this papaya oil facial mask. It's amazing. Love the skin that I'm in, baby. I'm loving it. 
58 who okay <laughs> now it's time to go ahead and moisturize using my avon anew vitamin c this is like a primer and a moisturizer i'm putting it on as my base to moisturize my skin amazing ingredients in this i will list it below not only that it's daytime so i am going to go ahead and apply a sunscreen and i am using another product by avon anew which is the daily beauty defense moisturizing cream sunscreen it has sunscreen yes an spf of 50 so it's amazing slathering it on down the neck down the chest all around yes indeed you got to do it if you don't do it you're gonna lose it faster than you want to it's gonna go away no matter what one of these years is gonna go away but you know you want to keep it on as long as possible and baby then i'm going in on top of that I have been doing the oils because there's something about oils and me and my skin that's got to have it. I, I got to have it. That papaya oil is it right now. I'm using it because it's number one in my book. This is one I'm using right now. I'm the oil queen, so I switch it up every now and then. So don't be surprised. I'm also going in with my favorite lip gloss. It's a lip plumper from Buxom. I'll have it listed below. And yes, got to have the face is juicy. The lips is juicy. And baby, I'm juicy. <laughs> Call me Miss Juicy, baby. Oh, for sure. Y'all, this is it. Your girl is loving what it looks like. And I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit long, but this is the real deal. It takes time to get to the end and I wanted to bring you all along with me. If you liked it and you loved it, let me know by dropping a like, by dropping some hearts in the comments. Oh yeah, so done with those. And I appreciate you all so much. If you made it to this point, let me know that I made it. Put it in the comments. I made it. And I will see you all on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe if you have not. And please tell everybody where you're hanging out at. Yes, share me with your world. I'll see you soon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir.